OK, let's start editing some MIDI. Let's double click to get a closer look. All right, you can see that this is the key edit view. We notice that by the piano roll on the left hand side. We have a couple of other views I'd like to show you as well. We have the drum edit view for editing drums and the rex edit view for editing rex files. We'll show you that later. If we go to our redrum, we can see that by default, it uses the drum edit view. Now let's go back to our key edit view. As we can see, we have lanes for notes, velocity, and any controllers we might have used, such as aftertouch. And if we had any automation here, we'd see that too. Now let's draw in some notes. Make sure my pencil tool is selected and just click to draw. It drew in 16th notes here because my quantize is set to 16th notes. To move notes, just select and move them. Using the S key turns my snap on and off. I can just nudge stuff around like that. To copy notes, just select a bunch, hit Option and drag. When I hold down Command, I can toggle between my Pencil tool and my Select tool. That can make things a lot easier when editing. To make long notes, I just click and hold with my Pencil tool and drag. I can resize the note using the handles over here. If I'd like to delete notes, I can use the eraser tool here and simply click on any notes I don't want. I can also select a bunch and it deletes them all in one shot. I can move notes up in pitch just by highlighting them and dragging them up and down. Keep in mind, as I showed in other tutorials, we can use our QWERTY keys on our keyboard to scroll through the various tools. I'm going to purposely make these notes a little bit different from one another so I can show you a few more functions. Let's make this one long, make this one longer. Get rid of these. And let's move that over here. Now I select all these, I hit the equal sign, make them equal to position, and equal to length, and even equal to notes. So that's actually putting all the notes together on one note. Now I really wouldn't want to do that, so I'll just click undo. Now you know everything you need to know to really get in there and edit your notes.